Hi everyone, this is Emily for The Burrow and I just dumped water all over the stack of paper. It seems to be drying now, but anyway, I have a few things in here from my second year of college and then a lot of stuff from my third year and then a few things getting into my fourth year. This is not a sketchbook, it is some stuff that I've kept from college. I thought it was kind of interesting to look through. So let's start. This is the first thing that I kept from my second year. Second year was kind of... <laughs> I don't want to say horrible, but we had to do a lot of dog anatomy and dog animation, just dog related stuff, and it got very, very tedious. And as you can see, I didn't even finish this dog skeleton. I hate drawing skeletons, and we just had to do a lot this year. So yeah, I might actually just throw this in the recycling after this, because that's how much I hate it. Here's another dog thing, and I actually got a pretty bad mark on this. <laughs> it's dog... Uh, musculature is that the right terminology i don't know but we had to use pencil crayons to shade in charlie from all dogs go to heaven and again it was very annoying this is an assignment i ended up doing really badly on i don't know if you can see but i got 60 out of 100 on it if i remember correctly i totally forgot about this assignment i ended up brushing it the night before it was due or the date it was due or something, so we're supposed to hand in photocopies and I ended up handing in the original, which is this, and the teacher <laughs> marked all over it with red pen, which was fine, but yeah, uh, this is pretty bad. <laughs> this is like, the rocks especially are really bad. The teacher had a lot of stuff to say, as you can see. Uh, he wrote what's out here because I didn't draw anything <laughs> in the actual background. He wrote follow instructions right there, so yeah, th thank you for passing me, teacher. <laughs> So here's some stuff from an assignment where I really started excelling in design class. This is for a pilot design. Um, looking back now, they're not very good drawings, but um, these are just kind of thumbnails. So these are like my preliminary ideas. And all the papers have tape on them because we had to tape them up on the board and the teacher would kind of go over everyone's work at the same time during class. So this is actually when I started developing my character Adrian. If you guys remember from um, some of my sketchbook tours, I have done a lot of drawings of her. And this is the design I ended up going with actually. I actually like this. I need to remember to get out my markers from time to time. I haven't been lately. And then I did a few guys as well. And here I think was the next round of design where I knew kind of the, what the character would look like, but I was doing different um, costume designs. I really like how in this drawing I tried really hard to draw all the structure and it's still, the structure looks pretty bad. <laughs> it looks really off. And then continuing in design class we had to do um, a flying machine, I think it was. Some kind of ship um, for the, the pilot character and we had to do like the exterior and interior designs. So these are my thumbnails for the interior. Um, these are my own notes and I find this is really helpful even now to write notes to myself on my my sketches, um, preliminary sketches and kind of like looking back through older work. You can kind of just write reminders to yourself and it kind of helps you self-critique and learn on your own. Um, here is the door for the cockpit, the backs of the seats. And the rough drawing of that. And then a different view of the cockpit. Um, at this time I really liked drawing in orange and red. I remember my teacher saying I drew the best in that color, so I drew in that from then on. <laughs> I 
rough version. Uh, now we're getting into third year, so this is some preliminary concept work I did for a film I started this year that I didn't end up finishing. Basically the concept is for the supermarket um, for superheroes. And I kind of wanted to be like floating in the sky at the beginning of the film. This little kid flies there with his mom who is a superhero. At this time I was really obsessed with this 1950s art deco style. And this is a design for the kid, the main character. And this is some prop design. There's a lot of props in this, so there's a bunch coming up. Um, he got a magical ring at some point, so those are some thumbnails I did for that. Some more thumbnails. This is the one I ended up going with. Um, and for those of you who might be wondering, when you do thumbnail designs, um, we always had to letter them, so then if we had to email them to the teacher or he just wanted to quickly point out, like, go with A, go with C, or that type of thing, um, it was just an easier way to communicate rather than trying to, like, describe each one. Uh, some gun designs, the ring as well. Morgans. I didn't end up going with any of these, these designs, by the way. Uh, this is the one I ended up going with, if I remember. And here is one of the backgrounds for the film. This is part of an assignment I think we had to do um, expression sheets for each of the characters. I remember having a really hard time drawing this kid. He looks different in some of the designs and uh, that's his mom. The exterior again. Um, this is for a life drawing assignment. We had to draw a Captain Hook. And this is part of the rotation for the villain in that film. Um, some of his expressions. And then the mom's expressions. Part of the mom rotation. And some poses for her. We had to draw different poses for each of the characters as well. And then here are some of the extra characters that were going to be in the supermarket. The cashier. And then this is Adrian and Bruce. They were going to be in it. It's a cleaned up version. And my characters, Prince Gil and Tack, I did like superhero designs for them to make a cameo in it as well. <laughs> um, this random werewolf guy. Uh, so for this year, I got to design the back cover for our class book. So I think I've talked about it before, it kind of serves as like a portfolio at the end of the year. But everyone gets to put in a certain amount of pages of their best work and yeah so here's some of the thumbnails I did for the back cover and then another rough drawing and this is the pose um, basic design I ended up with and then I revised it to this Thank you. 
did a couple versions of this. I feel like I remember that was the final design. Yeah. Um, this is some life drawing. Uh, this is a copy, so this drawing is actually really big. This paper is like three feet by two feet, I think. Um, and then for assignments and stuff, we just had to take pictures of, of the life drawing and hand them in on like an A4 size, so yeah. We had to write how long um, the drawings were because the assignment was based on different um, different lengths for drawing, so we usually would include like one gesture and then one 10 minute drawing and one 20 minute drawing and then one one hour drawing. And some more rough animation thumbnails. When I did animation I did this pretty often just to plan out the scene and each key. Like if you run your eyes across you can kind of see how he would be acting. Here's some more props. And some storyboards. I think this is the only page I ended up keeping. I don't remember. Um, another background. Rough drawing, obviously. And then the cleaned up version. Oh my god, I'm s I was really bad at cleaning up back then, and I still am. <laughs> and another rough background. So this is one background, but this layer is an overlay, so the characters would walk behind here, so it has to be separated like this. And this is the rough clean version. And this is my friend's character, she commissioned me to do, uh, I have to send this to her actually, I never ended up finishing the commission. <laughs> Uh, and this is getting into my fourth year. This is my character for my fourth year film. And this is a background. It's a spadescape, so it's not the most exciting thing. Um, but these all ended up being separated on different layers so they could animate like they're kind of floating in space. And this is a background I did for a computer animation assignment. This is another background for that film. And some rough expressions. Around this time I often did this type of thing with their like hand expressions basically. The same type of thing you would do with the face but with hand gestures and then you can also practice drawing the hand for the characters and yeah I find different characters have different styles of hands so it's kind of good to start practicing what their hands will actually look like before you sit down and do the actual drawings. Oh, this is a frame animation, so I guess... I don't know why I drew those on the back of that, but... Must have been running out of money for paper. <laughs> um, this is... Uh, animation planning, scene planning, so... I probably was animating a hop cycle for this character, so these are kind of like the keys for that, and then when I was animating each of the frames, I'd be able to refer back to this one page to see where they should be kind of on, on this. And yeah, that's the last thing. It's an overlay for one of the backgrounds, <laughs> kind of anticlimactic there. Um, But yeah, there's a big stack of stuff from my schooling. I don't think there's too much else for loose paper from that time. So next time will be a sketchbook. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone. Nine for mortal men doomed to die. One for the dark lord on his throne. Thus begins one of the most famous pieces of world building in modern fiction. Of course, if you're familiar with the works of J.R.R. Tolkien, you probably realize that his his efforts um, to build a believable world, to build believable characters, to build just this really authentic place that we can inhabit.